What a performance that was. Who would have thought that we'd win 5 0? Also, sorry for the lights. I'm getting an electrician in tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I couldn't really move the webcam uh, on short notice. So yeah, I look as though I'm in pff, Leipzig cellar. I don't know. <laughs> Genuinely, I just, yeah, that, that performance was absolutely exemplary. Ollie was completely justified in his selection. All this bullshit in the media about why aren't you playing Donny van der Beek? Why aren't you playing this player? Oh, this player hasn't played. Oh my God, Pogba, Fernandes, they don't play well together. <sighs> Let the man do his job. At the end of the day, we need depth. We needed depth and we've got depth. Look at today. We had Rashford and Bruno on the bench. 1-0 at half time. And we managed to bring both of them on fully fit. And what happens? Rashford gets a hat-trick. This is what I mean. We are able to play depth. Sorry, that's my cat. But yeah, we're, we're able to have depth now. Like, we played Greenwood and Martial up front. But we had Cavani and uh, Rashford on the bench. We were able to play Donny van der Beek, uh, Matic, Pogba, Fred. But we had McTominay, Bruno Fernandes on the bench ready to come on. And that's exactly what they did. 1-0 at half-time. You know, solid display. Leipzig did create a few things going forward, but other than that chance that De Gea had to save uh, in the first half on his near post, which you would have expected him to save anyway, they didn't create anything. They had one shot on target, pretty much. Um, they might have had another one in the second half, but other than that, they didn't really create too much. And, you know, I know a couple of their players weren't able to start, like Sibitza, and uh, they also had another injury, uh, McCool, that right back up, M Machiali, Whatever, the, the one that got a, a rule breakers on FIFA. But yeah, other than that, it was practically full strength. And yeah, we beat them 5-0. They were the semi-finalists last year. Like, let's not play games. We've beat PSG, who were the finalists, away. Yes, COVID, doesn't really matter if it's away or at home. We've beat Leipzig at home 5-0. In the second half, we were just dominant. We really were. Like, Leipzig created a couple of little things. But as soon as we got that second goal... That was it. And again, you know, there's all this banter about, oh, well, it might have been offside. The VR lines show that he was onside. To the naked eye, I, I'll admit, I thought he was offside. But then the way the lines are and the way the camera angle was, uh, particularly where you can view it, yeah, it's different to the VR line, which is what they used. And yeah, he's onside by about a millimeter. But at the end of the day, onside is onside. So, you know, Greenwood got his goal, but it was fantastic from Pogba. It was, really was. He took the ball. He was uh, surrounded by about four or five Leipzig players. Played a delicious through ball, and it's a phenomenal finish from Greenwood, who's had nothing but stick uh, because of his England escapades, of course. But then all this bullshit about him um, turning up late and being unprofessional in the training ground. Fuck off. Fuck off. The kid's 19 at the end of the day, and that's another phenomenal goal. Goal in the Champions League for him. Second half, the goal we score again is offside if Rashford's in Leipzig's half, which he isn't. He's in our own half. Uh, you can clearly see his foot is in the half. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a brilliant finish from him. And thankfully, the rules tell you to play on until VAR can uh, thingy. Because in the, the old rule book, that wouldn't have been a goal because... The play wouldn't have continued because the linesman had his uh, his flag up. But of course, you're being told to continue until the ball goes out. We did. The ball went into the net, and it was it was not offside because Rashford was in his own half. Yes, he's ahead of the defender, but you know you can't be offside in your own half. Also, a little side note: um, I I switched streams uh, because one of them went down, and I've got to say. I absolutely despise Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. All they were was negative as commentators. Like, I had to go to CBS, and my God, I don't know how American viewers can view that. I was clamoring for Martin Keown from BT Sport. Like, genuinely, he was way more rational. And, you know, he's not the greatest commentator, but, my God, oh, I really never want to listen to those again. Please get someone else for FIFA. Anyway... Uh, so yeah, 2-0 down, and then Leipzig kind of lost their heads, um, and we managed to get a third. Uh, again, it was Rashford, uh, it's it's brilliant play, he, the ball's played through, and as soon as it is, you know he's going to score. And then we get a fourth, uh, a terrible challenge from Sabitza, Penchester United strike again, but you know what, if you're going to bloody harpoon the player in the box, 
like I'm being I'm exaggerating of course but at the end of the day a foul is a foul if you're going to continuously foul our players in the box then of course we're going to get fucking penalties so yeah the penalty was given Rashford decided to give it to Martial Bruno obviously decided to give it to Martial too because he needed a little bit of a confidence boost he scored and then after that we get an offside goal <laughs> this time it is offside uh, the ball's played through and Cavani scores but it, this one's about two yards offside so it didn't count and then two minutes later Martial brilliant work uh, after he got his goal dribbling in and he passes the ball to Rashford and Rashford completes a Champions League hat-trick from the bench as well the dude played for like 30 minutes he's feeding hungry kids he's got petitions for a million fucking uh, people who've signed and He's doing his job on the pitch, scoring a hat-trick from the bench. This kid is just a marvel, honestly. He's 22, and yeah, he's got another 10 years on the pitch. He's already had five Premier League years, and yeah, he's starting to actually become a mature figure in the squad, which is brilliant because he's only 22. He's nowhere near his official prime, which would be about 26, 27. So, you know what? All, all the United fans that were dissing him and calling him Trashford and all this other shit, like... Fucking hell, man. What is wrong with you? I call them the United fans. Mostly it's the love United, hate Glazer lot on Twitter that literally would love Mourinho to be on here so we could draw that nil-nil and call it a masterclass. But anyhow, brilliant from Oli. Brilliant team selection. Fantastic performance. I've got to give a mention to our Aaron Wambasaka and Fred who are, in my opinion, up until Rashford came on, the two best players on the pitch today. Pogba played very well. Martial managed to get his goal played better when he did score the penalty. You know, uh, Donny van der Beek created a few chances as well. You know, it was just a, a, a high-class display. And yeah, 5-0, get in. Hopefully I can sort my electrics for the next one. But let me know what you thought. Peace.